Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I figured I would put together this cute little vlog of what we've been up to the last month of April and a little bit of March. Here we're walking through the Hyatt Regency Hotel and that's my mom as well with the kids. Um, we decided to check in the hotel because my husband surprised me with tickets to the show called The Empire Strips Back. It's a burlesque show. It was hilarious and super sexy. Here's the theater that I was in. It's Balboa Theater in downtown San Diego. We couldn't take video or uh, pictures during the show, but we did capture this one with the cast. They were amazing, so super talented, and the show was actually really funny. Here's a selfie we took outside of the theater, and then this picture here is our family at the hotel that my mom took. We also ate at one of our favorite restaurants here in San Diego. It's called Saffron. If you're ever in the area, you definitely need to check it out. And then we got gelato right next door, which was so delicious. I also took the kids to Legoland. We have annual passes, so we go all the time, but they just are so fun to go with. They are getting so big, so we're watching a lot more shows and walking around the whole park. And of course, getting in some delicious goodies. These are granny apple fries. And then we decided to go to Islands after Legoland, and I got the Impossible Burger. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but Impossible Burger is actually not meat at all. Kind of like a garden burger, but it's made with all these ingredients that make it taste like a regular meat burger but it's not so if you have the chance to try an impossible burger on any menu i would definitely give it a try and after all that they both passed out <laughs> We also celebrated my nephew's birthday. He's so into Fortnite, so that was the theme, and I made these really cool chocolate-covered pretzels to match. This is a really cool DIY, super easy to do if you guys ever need something to spark up one of your parties. And then I experienced my very first Toasty Bar. This thing was amazing. Look at all these goodies. I put together a bunch of these and snacked on it with the kids, obviously leaving out a lot of the really hot stuff. And then my family and I went to the Museum of What, and it was their love tour. We took so many photos. My little girl was my little muse that day, so I have so many pictures of her. And then she was my little photographer and took a few pictures of me. So it was really fun to go through all of these little backdrops that they had set up for the love kind of theme. So I just got a uh, package delivered. I ordered this yesterday from amazon.com. It is a wireless key finder. And I don't know about you guys, but I am always, always losing really everything, but <laughs> including my mind. But I'm always losing or just misplacing my phone, my keys, my bag. I try to keep everything in one place. Like when we walk into our house, I have a little cabinet on the side where I just put all my stuff. But, you know, when you just answer your phone and then you put it down because their kids are calling you or I'm walking wherever with my purse and I forget to put it down on the uh, cabinet, that's when I just lose stuff and it drives me absolutely nuts. So I found this wireless key finder on Amazon. I just searched for key finder and I found this little kit here and it comes with this remote control and all of the little finders are labeled A through H. I don't know if this comes with a battery, but the batteries came here separately for each of these little finders. And here they are labeled. They're really cute. It also comes with little stickers that you can put on maybe your remote. You could also use these for your pets. Not that our pets get lost, but uh, I saw that as an example. So there are little labels under there and more uh, batteries. And uh, here are some key rings to attach to your keys, your phone, or anything else, maybe your gym bag. And then you can also stick it on. They come with these adhesives to stick on remote controls or your cell phone. Um, I don't know if you wanna put this on the back of your cell phone, but if you lose your cell phone a ton, then maybe that's good for you. So I like that it came with eight little finders because that is plenty to cover and then a little more extra if you happen to <laughs> ironically lose one of them. <laughs> you have little labels here for each of your finders. So the stickers are for these little buttons here so you can easily identify where you put uh, your stuff if you forgot what uh, letter you put the finder on which object. It says that this is good for up to I think 100 to 160 feet. So you can basically go around your house pushing whichever one you want to find and it makes a loud enough sound for you to hear it. I am so excited about this. I will give you guys an update coming up soon after I've used it for a while and hopefully this little gadget will help me and save me some time because when you're running out of the house and you can't find something, especially if you just have like five minutes to get out before you run late for something, this is going to be a huge help. And um, yes, so here is a small little user manual. So if it's small, it probably is very, very user friendly. So yeah, that is the latest little gadget. I 
I've seen so many videos about like Amazon favorites or Amazon gadgets. Honestly, I could film one of those every single week because we buy so much stuff on Amazon um, even before we moved into our new house, but especially after we moved into our new house, it's honestly like a little bit overwhelming, but I will try to get some of these videos out of our Amazon favorites and gadgets that I have purchased or we have purchased on Amazon. So look out for that. And then this past Easter weekend, we spent the weekend in Dana Point with my sister-in-law. This is such a beautiful view, very close to her home and this gorgeous hotel behind us. We just walked around with the kids and we grabbed some dinner from our favorite restaurant called Jimmy's. They always have amazing food and amazing service. Here's a really cool picture that I took. We sat at a table right next to this cool sign. And then I picked up a magazine with the beautiful Kristen Dominique. We just enjoyed some really good food and delicious wine. And then the next day we just hung out at her house, just took some pictures of some beautiful flowers in her backyard. The kids went crazy on chocolate. And then we got them dressed in their little Easter outfits and took a few photos. <laughs> and then I enjoyed this super cute little cake pop almost too cute to eat. And so I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on our kitchen slash family room. Oh, I am so happy to tell you that our space is almost done. We have completed the floors in here, which only took two days, which is amazing. And everything is pretty much done in here, except we are waiting for the countertop for the island. The reason why we couldn't get it done at the same time with the other countertops is because when they installed the actual foundation of the island, they didn't include this middle uh, pillar, which was kind of strange because it's going to be a giant slab of marble. So we want to make sure that it's not going to be a hazard. So we actually had to order, custom order another one of these pillars. So we're going to wait for that to get installed. And then we already have the countertops measured and cut because they did it at the same time with the other countertops, but they're going to install it after we get that pillar in. I mean, if you've ever had any type of remodeling in your home, whether it was your kitchen, your whole house, your bathrooms, you are going to run into more hiccups than anyone could ever tell you you're going to run into. So a number of things have happened, but I didn't want to do a video just like complaining about all the things because that's just life. So the reason why this isn't done yet is because they sent us, first of all, they sent us the wrong size microwave and then we reordered it and then they sent us the wrong trim kit that goes with it when you install it. So then that had to go back. And so we're waiting on getting the second oven put in the microwave and then the cabinet door and it's great that we have our refrigerator already installed we got to move everything over from our old refrigerator so so happy to be able to have all of these you know kitchen amenities that you kind of take for granted because they're always there but once you start renovating you don't realize like how much you love all of the appliances we still have to get our hood installed I've been using our oven finally so happy to be able to be cooking at home again we went for an electric oven because first of all we liked this style when we saw it we've always had gas ovens and stove tops but this time we did a little bit more research and there's some benefits to having the electric and then here is the island on this side we're going to have a mini fridge this is where we're going to be storing a lot of the kids snacks and drinks so they don't have to open the big fridge and they can just get whatever they want themselves all of this is going to be seating right here and then I am so so excited because we finally have a functioning sink faucet and dishwasher you guys ah! they also installed our insta hot this is not totally complete we wanted to do chrome here well actually i wanted to do chrome here so we have to get that air gap replaced with a chrome finish and then we have the insta hot here this beautiful faucet right here and then these are actually our old um, hand and dish soap but we are going to just have our dish soap here that's installed inside the countertop and then we're going to have an ro drinking system right here which is going to be like super filtered water that's like better tasting than any other filtered water that you can get we're going to have it in the system installed the reason why we don't have it installed it's actually sitting right here the reason why we don't have this installed is because the finish is actually brushed nickel and we want it to have chrome so we want it to match um, all of the fixtures right here which is all chrome and then temporarily what I like to do is have this drying rack right here which kind of stretches out so you can make it fit over the sink I just do some hand washing for the dishes that can't go in the dishwasher and then I always have a towel right here that I use to wipe down the counters or if I need to just really quickly dry my hands and I don't want to use a paper towel and uh, just to also wipe down the fixtures and then I throw this in the wash um, at night and I reuse another one the next day. It's just better because then you're not wasting paper towels constantly wiping down um, you know, the countertops or whatever. It's just a lot better for um, waste management. 
Do you know what's so weird is they forgot to include a door for the trash can. Is that weird? Um, they looked through all of our boxes and they couldn't find a door. Obviously one goes there because you can see the holes there, um, but it was so weird. So we're gonna figure out why that um, didn't get installed. And then also the reason why these are sitting up here is because I got these brand new dishes. I got these mega, mega sale on Macy's. So I got two sets. I'm gonna throw them into the dishwasher, make sure they're nice and clean and sanitized. And then I'll be putting them into these cabinets right here. This trash bag is uh, was from the contractor. So I'm just leaving um, their trash right here so i hope you guys stay tuned for the full kitchen tour i can't wait to do more shopping to get this place just looking really really pretty that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed my little vlog of what we've been up to thank you guys for tuning in please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i post my future videos and i will see you guys all in my next one bye bye